Hello friends, we have got a new playlist today and that's nothing but machine learning. I wanted to do this for a long time but I did not have time to do it so now it is the uh, best time for me to learn and as well as to teach you. Let's start learning machine learning. This is the first session and we'll have about uh, 33 to 40 videos I believe to learn the crux of machine learning and we will cover the complete details and fundamentals of machine learning, analytics and machine learning, the regression part of machine learning, clustering, classification, uh, real-time case studies. We will cover all these up in this playlist and I hope it will certainly be very interesting for you. And all these concepts that I am talking to you will be supported by proper Python code and uh, we can share the Python code as well through GitHub links if needed. Let's get into the session right away and it's going to be a 10 minute session today, 10 to 15 minutes maximum session today and I hope you would like it. In the uh, recent past, if you take artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning, all these three topics have gained a lot of momentum, is it not? We have gained a heavy momentum for all this and wherever we go, the discussion is only surrounding these three. Maybe it will be connected to IoT, maybe it will be connected to uh, ARVR, maybe it will be connected to data analytics, but all these have a direct connect with AI, ML and DL. We need to understand what these three are all about and where are we going to pitch in to learn machine learning is what we will understand first. What is artificial intelligence? The term itself is very simply telling artificial intelligence. You and I, animals even, have got natural intelligence. We can act intelligently based on the situation and we can come to a decision. But machines do not do it. Machines cannot do as you and I do. In contrast to the natural uh, natural uh, rule that machines do not have intelligence, if machines can exhibit intelligence and act like what you and I can do, it is called artificial intelligence. This can be achieved through complex algorithms and mathematics. Understand, without math, nothing works in machine learning, deep learning or AI. We need math and we will also learn that slowly but in the same time at a steady pace. Machine learning. What is machine learning? Very simple. It is a subset of the AI umbrella. I have got a broad umbrella called as AI and in that I have got a small subset called as machine learning. Machine learning will enable the systems to perform specific task, listen, specific task without explicitly intervening. No intervention should be there from human. That's the major part of it. I can train the system to do something and that task would be specifically, uh, the, the machine would be trained to do the task, particular specific task without any intervention. Decisions shall be based on the previous examples. So we will train the system. I use the term training. It is like a machine. I train that machine and based on the training I provide, it will act in the future. Very simple. Decisions can be taken also based on how you have trained. The main aim is to avoid human intervention and let the computer work automatically without any intervention is the point. Now what is deep learning? Deep learning is the next step. In deep learning, the human brain is imitated in the processing and most importantly, the data and the understanding the data shall be done as such your human brain does. So the system should think as you think and here the solution should be 100% based on, I mean it's, it's naturally based on the neurons. So brain is all about neurons and it is all about neural networks here in deep learning. So the purpose of deep learning is to make the system decide and think like the human brain does. So people also call it deep neural learning or deep neural network. That's it. We have learned what is artificial intelligence, what is machine learning, what is deep learning. Artificial intelligence making the machine exhibit intelligence. Machine learning making the machine do specific tasks through your training that you have provided in the past. Deep learning makes it a little better. It should think in the way you think. Now. What is the scope of the playlist? The playlist has got AI, uh, machine learning and deep learning discussed just now. But I am focusing completely on the machine learning first. My complete focus goes on machine learning and in the future we will learn about the deep learning as well. But this will take time. So my initial target is to get this playlist completely rich, information rich on machine learning part. Let's learn that. Now, what is the relationship between AI, ML and DL? This is a very commonly asked question even in the interview. Now if you see that, this is the diagram that I have presented. A is the broader circle and inside that circle, I've got machine learning. This is the subset of A and inside that machine learning, I've got deep learning which is a subset of ML again and here 
we use neural networks which can mimic human brain that's the most important point that you need to understand neural networks are used to mimic the human brain when it comes to deep learning that's it and we are done with it now we'll get into the next level where we need to understand what are all the categories of ml algorithms what are all the classifications or what are all the most commonly followed approaches in ml they are four types supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforced learning and evolutionary learning remember this is a very important interview question wherever you go if you say that you have studied machine learning the first question would be this there are four types of machine learning algorithms and approaches people follow the first one is supervised learning the second one is unsupervised learning the third one is reinforced learning and the fourth is evolutionary learning we will learn all these with simple examples right now let's get into the first learning approach supervised learning what is this very simple let me take a baby as an example there is an infant available right now in front of us there is a mother of infant also available in front of us mother teaches the infant everything and now the mother teaches what are all the types of fruits that are available and the infant is going to listen mother shows an apple she takes the apple and she shows the kid that child see that this is an apple now she also tells that this is an apple which is red in color and which is the shape of the apple is also taught next the mom takes the banana and she tells that this is banana remember i use a label banana this is banana this is yellow in color this is long in shape this is what the mother teaches and the child observes this so next time when the child is shown with an apple like this see the picture i have made a nice picture for you first time the day one the mom teaches the son that son see this is apple this is banana the son now gets the complete picture the kid now gets the complete understanding about this and the labels will be remembered next time when he looks in into the apple image he will understand that this is under the label apple this is under the label banana it is red in color so it is apple it is yellow in color so it is banana this is the way the child will think and day to the mom ask the son son what are these this is banana and this is apple mom that is it this is called supervised learning approach your data shall enable examples for each situation and shall also specify outcome for the same what do you mean by this i have already trained the system i have already told the system that these are all the situations that you will face and based on the situation you should pull this output and present me this so the situations here are all very simple i have got an apple i have got a banana apple and banana images are trained next time when i get the same situation either apple or banana i will understand what apple is what banana is and i will give you a clear result the training data is what is very important this is all about training the system and the system behaves in future based on whatever training you have given so it is like you teaching it to behave that's it this is called supervised learning but there are a lot of things that you need to remember about supervised learning as well now see the same mother is telling uh, is asking uh, son about jackfruit he has not been trained about jackfruit he has not been told earlier about jackfruit now she is asking son what are these i am sorry mom you never taught me this is the way the system will also behave if you have not trained the system with something specific it will not understand what you are talking about for example here the system is not trained about jackfruit so on seeing the jackfruit images it cannot understand if it is jackfruit or anything else only when you train only when you train it right it can give you right results now i am going to go to the next topic which i said right results wrong training leads to wrong results now assume that the mother purposefully teaches a wrong stuff mother shows the apple and she says that this is banana and she shows the banana and she says that this is apple now she trains her son in a wrong way she trains her son in a uh, son with a different input which is not right but son son will not uh, interpret it right son will not ask questions son will go ahead and take it the same way that the mom teaches now what will happen next day the mom is asking son what are this now son will also say it wrong because he was trained wrong if you train wrongly the system shall provide wrong results that's all this is called the supervised learning supervised learning is all about 
providing complete and clear concise input about what are all the things that you expect and on giving those inputs what should be the output it's a clear path i have a clear path in front of me and i need to give all those details to the system and the system will give me the predicted you know what is the output that's exactly what i try to convey and if you have not trained the system it won't work if you have trained the system in a wrong way it will give you only wrong results so it is like karma it it it, it is definitely like karma you do good things you get good results very simple train well get the good results now let's go into the unsupervised learning i hope you understood what the supervised learning is all about it's a very important interview question we will code for it also i have got plans for coding also we'll do that little later but this is an introductory session so i'll give you the introductory discussion and the details about these four types then we will go on to the next level i hope it will be useful approach now unsupervised learning what is this very simple in this approach uh, the knowledge of outcome variable is not at all present what is going to be the output what can be the output for this input is not present right this is confusing right so i'll tell you this way i'll give you an example i'm going to take the baby again the baby is going to be now presented with a picture the picture has got three dogs and three cats but all of them are together now you are asking baby on seeing this picture what do you understand baby would not have seen about the cat or dog earlier baby would not know what the cat is or what the uh, dog is all about but the natural intelligence of the baby would be to group the dogs and the cats based on the height and the structure all the dogs would look similar all the cats would look similar so the baby will group and he might not say that it is cat and dog properly but he will say that these two are similar so i will group all the cats together i will group all the dogs together and this is called clustering when you do not have the any technical features which are embedded into the system you will cluster it like i mean you will group it and you will get the output that's it this is based on the pattern i will generate a pattern i'll understand the pattern brilliantly and i can group it and i call it cluster this is called as unsupervised learning let's get a little technical we are being given with a set of data now it will have to categorize them and give the output each category is referred as the clusters the labels for the clusters are to be tagged later remember each cluster are to be labeled but we will do that later the categorization is based on the features in the data point and unsupervised learning algorithms are also referred as clustering algorithms whenever we learn clustering in future we are going to do that we will call them as unsupervised algorithms or we can also called as clustering algorithms and now understand we are going to just cluster the uh, content in the images based on the pattern based on the features so this is called unsupervised learning i have taken a simple example and i have explained you now now we are going to go to reinforced learning this is reinforcement learning it's a feedback based process what is it very simple i can take a simple example for you and i can explain i am going to learn something for example i am playing cricket right now i missed a full toss ball i had to hit it i missed a full toss ball my coach is watching me and he is telling me that see sri ram you have missed a full toss ball drive it straight or hit it long and next time when the full toss ball comes i'll keep that input feedback that my coach gave and i'll hit the ball straight this is called reinforcement learning i am already trained i have got some input but over and above that i get some new inputs right now i can also include that and i can evolve myself that's it i'll give you another example which is more technical we are playing chess game with the computer we have won computer computer has lost the game with you next time when you play the computer will remember all the steps that you have played last time and it will counter you so that is called reinforcement learning it learns from the move that you have given and it has evolved and it will give you a tough fight very simple i'll give an example same mom and son comes for rescue mom is showing apple and she is asking uh, what is this my son and the son says that mom this is an orange but it is an apple actually so mom tells that see my boy this is not orange this is apple then son realizes that he has done a mistake so he says that oh apologies mom i shall correct it for this the system will give a penalty because this is a mistake and then next time what will happen mom is asking son what is this then son says that this is an apple correctly he has said it is an apple this time that's because he has taken the feedback this feedback based approach is called as reinforcement based learning and when it says correctly every time we get a positive point or a bonus point for it when there is a mistake we get a penalty for it in our system we will talk about it in detail technically through implementation later the final topic of this is 
the evolutionary approach. This is still evolving. This is the toughest area that people are working on right now. If we take genetic algorithms into picture, we can call that as evolutionary approach because genetic algorithms have got natural evolution. So if we take the genetic algorithms into picture and if we implement it in machine learning, we call it evolutionary approach. The learning shall grow and we will learn more in this interesting playlist. I hope the playlist is useful. If you have suggestions, inputs, comments, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. If you like this content, please subscribe. If you can tell it to your friends as well, that would be very helpful for me. Thank you very much.